Hey, Orange One here. So we are with our friend Bowie here, and we are going to try installing on myself repair nanobots. Uh, there's a 24% chance of failure. Um, hold on. Before we do that, yeah, I've got the enhanced memory, so I should be able to get a little bit extra experience from that. It'd be nice if uh, we could find the cerebral booster CBM, because that actually boosts your intelligence, and I would really like that. I'm just hoping that this works, because if it does, we've essentially entered into the late game. Like, we'll be able to just fight and fight and fight, and as long as we're managing our pain, which we should be able to do with our um, sensory doling. Oh, nice! Sur successfully installed the repair nanobots. Sweet. So that means that we, yeah, we're going to be an unstoppable machine as long as we're managing our pain and our power. And as you've noticed, zombies, they drop batteries pretty consistently, or items that have batteries in them. So I think we could essentially fight indefinitely with this. I'm pretty excited about that. That's uh, going to be a good, a good look for us, as they say, you know? Okay, let's, um, let's see what we can do with this thing, huh? Um, so if I turn on this, I just want to see what the power drain is like. 80 joules per action. 4 joules, or 80 joules to activate, 4 joules per turn. So if I examine that... 1 HP per minute, stopping bleeding at the cost of extra power, and stored calories. Oh, so, um... It uses calories? So if I turn that on, uh, why is it not letting me turn it on? Oh, is it because I had the, the menu up? Yeah, there we go. If I turn that on, it's taking up four per turn. So I think that we wouldn't want to actually use this in combat. Because it does actually have a significant drain. Um, hold on. Let's wield... Let's get the gun out. We have so many bullets. Let's just do that. Yeah, so this looks like a good way to heal up in between fights, but I wouldn't use it in a fight, which I used to be able to do. Um, pretty consistently, that worked out nicely for me. Um, so I think it, it said it's healing 1 HP per minute, which seems incredibly low. Like, that healing rate, I don't know about that. That doesn't seem right to me. So, it is enough for me to consider using our Jane a little bit more. Because we will be able to handle melee a little bit better. I'm not so afraid of this guy, like, hurting me, you know? Oh. He did get me there, though. Can I... There we go. Yeah, I think... From what I've seen... We are gonna be want to be a little bit careful with that, uh... Repair nanobots draining the power. It did get our arm to full health, though, so that is nice. Um... So what we should be doing is making our friend just kind of wait here. And I'm actually going to um, eat one of the batteries that we have in here somewhere. Nope, never mind. It We haven't got our battery system is on. We should be able to eat a battery. There we go. Sure, use one of the disposable batteries. Actually, you could use... Um, no, let's not use the disposable. We'll keep those. Uh, here's something kind of interesting. You can just use like a heavy battery and essentially load up your power completely. And then we'll just dump it back. Oh, also something that I've been intending to do is create more um, radio activation mods, but we need a pilot light. I, uh, I was playing around with killing some zombies a little bit off camera, and we can do it super easily. But I would like to be able to use some explosives. If I smash that, I'll take that pilot light. I kind of want a couple pilot lights, though. 
Oh my gosh, look at all that fungus that's up there. I vaguely remember that now. That they had a little bit of a fungal problem around here. Uh, let's see. What else could we do? Oh, there's a hellhound. I hate those guys so much. Anything that can burn me, I hate. And you know what's kind of interesting is that we're a pyromaniac. And I was thinking it might be interesting. Uh, why are we not able to hit it? Is it seriously that far away? 25. Yeah, we should be aiming at it. There we go. Okay, it disappeared in the fog. We just need to wait till we got a decent enough shot and then we'll take it. Never mind. Yeah, I go behind that house. Or that car. Why don't we... Yeah, we've got a nice shot now. Okay, yeah, hit them. There we go. They're down. Oh, there's a technician. We could get some good CBMs from you. Yeah, come over here. I'm through the fungal infestation. You're going to pull my gun away, aren't you? No. Not if I don't give you the chance. Is the corpse? No, the corpse I think is... Is that it? No. Uh, where are you? Right there? There, there we go. Okay, they're down. That technician went down. Was it this guy right here? Yes, it was. Okay, go ahead and pick him up. Mostly because I don't want to drive my car all the way over here. And just take a second. I saw it, uh, someone put a comment online about how you can get, um, whatchamacallit, uh, zombie pheromones from butchering corpses. I didn't know that. That's, that's actually super cool, you know? Okay, let's drop that. Where's my X-Acto knife? in here somewhere. Or do I already have it on me? I don't already have it on me, do I? No, I do not. Where is it? Oh, don't tell me that I left it somewhere. Oh, no, hold on. I, I didn't have everything... I wasn't looking at everything. Exactly knife. Here we go. We got two of them. That's what I thought. I was very confused there. Um, can I dissect them? I'm very intrigued to see what we find. I think at this point we've become a cyborg. Like, I'd be comfortable calling ourselves a cyborg, you know? Um, I might turn off the repair nanobots because there's no real use in using that unless we need to. And it kind of drains power. So, uh... Oh, I thought that we were done because I saw this green on the side. Joint torsion racket. If only that would actually work for our friend. That'd be a really good one. Um... Yeah, wield that. I'm actually just going to put it in storage for now. It is something that I was considered picking up ourselves, but I don't know. Yeah, this doesn't, it says it just needs time to heal, but it says like 41%, and I don't think that's gone up in a couple in-game days, so I don't know what's going on with that. Let's give ourselves a meal. What What do you uh, y'all think about, I kind of wanted to do granola for adventuring, uh, and I'd make three por or six portions. Let's go ahead and make two of those. We've got tons of, of materials to do that. Um, use the oranges. Sure. I've never actually had um, orange flavored granola. That sounds kind of gross to me. I did want to do, bring it with us adventuring and out killing. Oh, it looks like it's actually already nighttime and we're not tired, so that's going to be a problem. I mean, we did just have an uh an aesthetic right so we should be getting tired i think i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm if i'm honest 
Oh, so I wanted to record my Caves of Cud series, and I was super excited about it, and the controls were not working with my keyboard. It wouldn't recognize it, because I don't technically have a number pad on this keyboard. I've got a little program that reroutes the numbers, and it is really annoying. It, it's just not working. Um, let's see, go ahead, get items. Hold on to the granola. It will last forever. Like, that seriously will last so long. Um, before we go anywhere, though, why don't we make something a little bit more festive? Let's look at snacks. No, maybe we could make a cookie. We could make some cookies. We could do that. Uh, just kind of curious what else we have. Oh, we could make a little bit of bread. Pasta. Yeah, I want to be careful because we don't have an, an awful lot of flour in game right now. So let's just go with some cookies. You can make some cookies, right? Yeah, make some oatmeal cookies. I actually like that. Um, oatmeal, molasses, sure. That actually sounds not half bad. Oatmeal, molasses, and... Oh god, now all this sounds weird. Banana? Let's go with banana. It actually sounds okay compared to like what was that apple an apple cookie i mean people have apple turnovers so it's not so horrifying but it is kind of weird there's my cookie there you are yeah we'll eat the cookie fill ourselves up a little bit with that that should give us plenty of calories how about water do we have water already Gallon jug of clean water to the southeast. Um, yes, let's get that. And we'll just get ourselves hydrated. Yeah. I don't think we need to be really carrying much else around with us. We do have some energy cola on us, but I don't think we really need to use that. Um... Now the question is, what do I want to do? I think I want to fight zombies, but make my way maybe to the police station. I think really I want to go to this library, though. Let's go up north. It is going to be night, though, so that's going to make things a little interesting. We'll use our headlights for now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we, we need to do from here on out. I would use my infrared vision. Oh yeah, actually, let's turn this off. If I turn this on... Ooh, I can actually... Oh wow, I can see the stuff in the camera that's being displayed. So our cameras display infrared light. That's actually really useful for me, for me to know, because then I can drive around like this and see enemies' uh, marks with that UV light. Like, I can see that dude up there. It doesn't show up on my mini-map, unfortunately, but we can work with it. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's just keep on going straight up. Grap. Northeast and below. Oh, that's from the lab! Right, we wanted to... Uh, where is the lab? Go down here. Well, we could go down to the lab. That probably would not be a bad move. Um, and we've got full health and everything. And it's likely to have some pretty good books and stuff for us. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go down to the lab. Let's continue our, our lab dive. Uh, go ahead, turn that off. Do I have a flashlight in here somewhere? Sure, we'll take that. Um, never mind. That's to my southeast. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put some stuff down then. Put that down. Um, this doesn't really take up much space. The antiseptic I'm going to keep to disinfect wounds. That can go. I'm not um, going to make a radioactive dynamite right now, am I? Or maybe I could. Maybe I could make one stick of that. Um, 
Turn off the headlights, please. There was also... Wasn't there... Yeah, there was some enemies around here. Go ahead and get that Jane out. I think I'm gonna try and get our melee skill up, because, uh... Like, not roleplaying wise, I just kind of think that's a good idea. Th these guys are gonna tear up my gear, though. Which is annoying. Maybe I should... Dump my weapon while I'm trying to do that? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to carry my gun. You know? Uh, what was that? I thought I heard a something crashing into my car. Oh yeah, survivor zombie. Yeah, I can take you. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of smashing going on down there. We probably want to head down and, and check that out then. Yeah, just stay here, Louie. I got it. There's some sort of gun that's being fired at probably some zombies by the looks of it. That's kind of weird how there's just like that peanut back there. Okay, um, cell phone empty. Yeah, we're gonna want to be keeping an eye out for batteries <clears throat> as we go down here. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, we'd never grab that flashlight. Hold on. Whoa. That was actually super loud. That's below us. Something. Something's got the zombies' attention, and I think that the zombies have gone into that room with them now. Where's that flashlight? There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I would really like to be a medical mutant. That, I think, would be uh, really fun to play. Uh, where's the screecher? Yeah, come here. And the nice thing about the flashlight is that it actually also has a battery in it. So if I need to, I can I can use that. Oh look, there's lemon lime soda there. Yeah, pick that up. And if we need a drink later on, we can do that. If I look downstairs... Huh. Um... Not seeing any turrets. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight though. For when I actually go downstairs because uh I just wanna be a little bit more cautious, you know. Okay, it sounds like this uh I think it was a brute, right? Oh it's a wrestler. Uh oh. Can I run away from them? Will it let me? Oh oh wow, he actually just punched me. Um we're going to want to repair our gear after that. Can I wield my gun? Just drop the Jane for now. We'll deal with it later. Uh, flashlight. Turn that on. Yeah, this wrestler needs to go down, basically. Why was I not actually aiming at you? There we go. Let's just let him come to us and we'll, we'll take him out. And because we have that repair nanobots, this is not going to be actually even slowing us down all that much. We'll just heal up a little bit and be a little more cautious. Okay, they're down. Go ahead, uh, Jane. Put that away. Sounds like there's something over there to the side. Let's just come up for a little bit. Pair nanobots definitely want that back on. You return that on as well because we're gonna need it. Um, and I'm just gonna repair our gear just a little bit, not a whole lot. But that wrestler actually hit us pretty hard. Maybe we could drive the car up just a little bit closer while we're healing up and get a tailoring kit up and out. I'm actually not even gonna turn on our headlights. Because we got our flashlight, we're, we're kind of using that right now. I know jank, right? Oh, oh. Whoops. I just ran into the, the building there. My bad. Let's close that. Can I repair it? Yes, I can. Okay, it looks like everything's okay, actually. 
Where's that tailoring kit? Northwest. Uh, why did I not? Did I actually? No, I didn't actually pick it up. And then we actually also want to reload this. Yeah, we're hearing gunfire. That's fine. Oh, our emergency oxygen pack. Why is that? Um, oh, because we got our magazine out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, get that magazine back in there. Definitely want this just in case. Um, tailoring kit. Can I activate and repair some gear that just got busted up? I think I want the leg pouch or something done up. Okay, we need actually some rags. Sorry. I mean, we need to heal up anyways, so it's not like we're wasting time, really. Anyways. Uh, where's the sheet? Can I wear one of those? Yeah. I'm just doing that so that it'll let me carry it. Uh, where's that sheet? Drop it. Cut it up. And we should be able to repair some of this gear. All the way. Yeah, I definitely want to get some more fireproof gear and get napalm making, but I saw... I was just kind of looking at the menu in between episodes. Um, it's going to be hard, harder to do than, than just uh, trying it to do it. Oh, and also I reinforced this um, as Kevlar inserted... So I inserted some Kevlar there. So our gear is just a little bit more protective. Um, let's see. I think we're probably okay to go back in. I am going to get some more water while we're here. Okay, we're full to a good... We're in mild pain, but it's not bad enough where I would... um actually concerned. Let's go ahead and get the coil gun out. We'll, we'll use the coil gun and this using the actual gun makes sense. There was something kind of going on over here, I think. You were hearing something stepping around over there. Yeah, wasn't there like a turret in one of these rooms? I feel like zombies uh, killed a turret in here. Hydrometer, there's a slavering biter. You know what? Uh, hold on. Um, I'm going to drop that. Uh, and I'm gonna get the Jane back out. Just drop it, it's fine. Okay, this guy's actually tougher than I thought they would be. Okay. Um, curious about what items we have in here. There's some ammonia, heavy disposable battery. Can I have some of that battery power? Yeah, I'm fine with I'm getting a little bit closer. Okay, uh, go ahead and get those guns. Yeah, we just need to be a little bit careful. Because I feel like I'm going to be... Um, oh, you have violated law. Pay your fine or come with me. Oh, so there's some sort of police robot or security robot down there. Let's just peek down there first. Okay. I do vaguely recall this. Stop right there, criminal scum. Are they quoting, um, what was that, Oblivion? I feel like that's like a quote from Oblivion. I'm, I'm like 90% sure that that's what's going on there. Uh, there. There's some bleach there, which we needed for... Uh, whatchamacallit? For mutagen. So I'm actually going to just pick that up and bring that up right now. Sorry, I know that we said that we were going to come in here looking for mutagen. Or um, that one book. For uh, medical mutations, but trust me, this is this is worth it. Was that actually only two units of bleach? Maybe it wasn't worth it. Maybe I should have poured that into something else. 
I'm just double checking. Yeah, these are all smashed. Good. Okay. All right, I'm happy. Go down. Just scope things out. I believe that there is a turret in here. If I look, no, there is not a turret in here. Oh, that's interesting. I could have sworn I would have opened that otherwise. Uh, what about in here? And it looks like I haven't even really delved into this place. Those will probably just be not really worth anything north and below. So I know that there's some sort of robots uh, below us talking. Oh, well, that was kind of weird. Why is that menu popping up? I'm, I'm very confused as to why that menu was popping up. I didn't think I was pressing buttons that would lead to that, at least. Uh, is that... what is that on the floor there? Doctor badge. Oh, does that make some robots uh, not attack you? If I read... Does it not tell me anything? A plastic real doctor of the medical kind? Yeah, I don't think that's going to stop you from getting attacked by anything, but it might. Uh, let's, uh, let's take that battery out of that radio. I'm actually going to pick up the radio as well because it has an antenna in it. And I kind of want that. Can I? No, do not step into the dissector. I was trying to disarm it. I was just trying to see if it would let me disarm it. Uh... Oh, I think I vaguely... it's been so long since we've been here. <clears throat> I think I do vaguely remember there being... Yeah, like centrifuges and, and stuff in this room. Let's see what else we have in here. Probably some good stuff. Some hydrochloric acid. What about if I come up here? There's a chemistry set, like a proper one. It's kind of interesting. Uh, if I try and disassemble that, will that give me... No. I was just checking because we need uh, platinum and some other stuff to make napalm now. Yeah, cool. I, I like how they've upped the requirements for that because it was actually pretty darn easy to make. Um, so I'm going to be on the lookout for some of that stuff. Ooh, autoclave pouches. Nice. Okay, well, we just basically enabled us to install as many cybernetics as we'll ever need in the game. As long as we don't die. I need to start, like, marking this stuff as looted. If I look here and there, I feel like all that's been explored and looted pretty darn well. Okay, what if I look here? Oh, that is a turret room. Do not go in there. We could try and throw an explosive in there, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Is this what I think it is? I feel like this... Oh, no, it's not. Is that an opening? Open air? What? For real? That is bizarro. I have not seen that in a lab like that before. It's making me nervous because wasn't there, like, robots below us? Spectroscopy cuvettes. Wow, there's a lot of um, stuff required for crafting as a science uh, character now. Vortex device? Is that the thing that uh, teleports you around? No. It's literally for just vortexing like test tubes. Duh. <laughs> um, do not yell. We don't need to tell everyone where we're at. There is some stuff in here that I kind of want, but not enough to really stop gluten. You know what I mean? Advanced physical chemistry. That's good, though. That could, that could give us a ton of good crafting recipes. Uh, purifier serum. I'm going to pick that up because that's incredibly hard to make. And sure, we'll get the bandages. It's not like I'm going to be using it, but our friend might want to use it. Mark that as looted. I don't really know if we have fully looted this area, but pretty sure we have. Are we hallucinating right now? Yeah, we're hallucinating. We're double hallucinating. 
That's how bad it is. We're hallucinating that we are hallucinating. Right? Uh, what is that exacto knife? I already have one. What about here? What do we have here? Empty rooms. Um, stairs down. What about here? Northwest and below, yeah. The robots around here seem to be plentiful. Um, I don't really want to open that door while standing on a table. That doesn't seem smart to have slow movement speed in opening a door. Some clean water there. Yeah, the, the nice thing about labs is that they do have some consumables in there for you. If I look, those doors look kind of special to me. I don't know what's behind them, but... Northwest, you're hearing whack. Uh, science lab, closed metal door. I try and open that and look. Okay, there. this is one of the um, locations that could have some pretty good loot. I'm hearing some things whacking around. Prisoner containment. Okay, so this is uh, gonna have some scientists in it, probably. Oh. Unlock entrance, yes. Um, wait. I think... What did this, uh... Yeah, I wanted to double check. Oh, I thought we hacked it. Yep. Password required, hack into system. Oh, actually, it just shocked me. Hmm. I'm gonna put a note, door there, and we'll come back to it when we got a little more health. Don't want to be charging into a place without full health, essentially. And I'm looking at, and we're actually at the, just a little bit past the half an hour mark, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.